Hello my friends and welcome to this uh, Stellaris Guide, uh, the Commonwealth of Man we are playing. Um, last time, well we, we talked a bit about being boxed in and, and what we are going to be focusing on like Vega, Unreal and all of these uh, other systems that uh, might get us into uh, this arm. Uh, these guys are warring a lot. Um, I'm not quite sure... Who these all are, but uh, yeah, they are at war with um, with them. We might, we might want to start working more trade deals, um, just until we are able to deal with uh, imminent danger. Let's slow this one down because there's a few things that we need to handle. There are construction ship here is just not doing anything. You go here, move there. Once we have the alloys, we're going to be building the station for you as well. Um, we got some science ships who don't have anything to do. And we cannot excavate anything that is not within our borders. So that won't do. Our scientists have nothing to do. And when that happens, you will just want to send them towards planets. And uh, just assist in the research. Now usually it will work more on planets that actually generate research because it will generate a bonus for you but if you don't have those planets just assign them to a planet a system in the research that the planet would create it will get a uh, an icon in there usually just around here hmm. you're now assisting the research there you go so research jobs are increased now this planet does not create any um, research however it will now also just level this guy up over time uh, experience 992 I don't think we will see that uh, jumping up oh there you go 993 so even though there is no research it doesn't mean that you don't want to work on that so this is still increasing this will go down over time they're wary their fleet power is equivalent Happiness plus 5, definitely nice. I do want to work on a trade deal. I want to make sure I have at least a ally. And doing that with 2 for 30 years, uh, that would be very, very nice. I kind of want it to be a bit higher than this. So if we can get it up like to maybe just 5, 80, 84, that would probably get us in range of some of these things like a uh, aggressive pack a non-aggression pack so here we go let's do that it will cost us once again 0.25 and let's do a commercial pack invitation as well um they will get 2.48 and we will get 1.67 out of it each month due to this trade so they got the um the better end of this deal but we're going to do it because it will push up our trust as you can see this will go up by 8.5 at the moment. So a migration treaty is going to happen way sooner at the small cost of some alloys and some minerals. And we've got some things to be working on on the planets as well. Uh, great, let's increase that. Uh, strange crystal. So we got some uh, uh, psionic theories and that is plus 25%. So I think that's quite nice but not very interesting for us so there is a tiny bit of crime there is not enough housing and we are starting to lack alloys that's not good we want to be working the alloys and to or actually the amenities um, and this will turn in consumer goods for unity and amenities so win-win situation for us Let's do that and let's get a planetary district up and running. Our colony ship should be done. So as soon as this station is uh, is up and running, we'll colonize this planet. It's a nice 24 tiles. Very, very nice. This will boost up our, our hull points. Look at that. A thousand right now. Corvette building speed, Corvette building cost is definitely very nice because we are preparing for war. We can upgrade this uh, once again. Let's do it. It's just a cheap upgrade. No need to do anything else with it. 
with the non-aggression pack it's definitely working out quite nicely with them they're now coral they got a very high opinion on, on us and the trust is just increasing maximum amount of trust 75 so we don't have to worry about this border we still have to worry about these two this war on his part is apparently not going too badly these are equivalent the others are superior now you could say you could offer them a trade deal as well definitely true these guys are no longer overwhelming they're just superior so we're getting closer they're still at war interesting and they've taken back some of that uh, terrain now i don't want to get into that war already um we're going to be waiting we're going to buy us or, or bid us ourselves some time let's increase our ships that also means that we are towards our naval capacity and um, we want to be doing something with that what is it that we want to be out of this monthly unity plus 10 percent scene of scenic attraction yeah I, I'm, I still want to be focusing more on alloys so you're you're definitely busy and we we do need to create or generate uh, alloys actually wait let's get rid of these two let's just increase this because this will create a base plus 10 alloys that would uh enmity sorry for that um so that's going to be very very nice that's even better than i was planning on doing that means that we can generate more alloys let's make sure we do that colony ship is done so let's send you over here and let's make sure that we get we don't want to build a colony ship here go here colonize this planet go ahead as for a science ship uh, where are you you're over there you are going to excavate uh, this site meaning this guy because there is um, no need for him to be here because there's no research on this planet you go here and I want you to excavate that site as well um, we should be focusing on a deal with the artisan trope uh, the artisan trope is also uh, from a, uh, a storyline DLC uh, these guys might like us would that be the case these are way too far away for us Ah, to be interesting they are rivaling these fellas over here and I don't understand why there is a comp a full empire in between so there's no need to do that uh, close borders are being done construction ships not doing anything uh, we've got some warrior side attempt to contact them but these are pirates so they won't be interesting let's get that uh, building out of the way you build outpost just be careful not to hit zero. That will uh, kill the trade deal. They don't like it if that happens again. Uh, let's start building up a few anchoring over here. We, we want to increase our naval capacity because we're building up to a 30. And once we're hitting a 30, we have 2k. It should be more than enough to deal with um, the stations of our enemies. So let's just get that out of the way. Uh, this planet is building up that alloy and as well as the upgrade great absolutely fantastic there you go there's are the raiders uh keep digging construction complete let's get all of these out of the way you are done which is nice go here move there over there so we got one two three four five systems remaining we are over our administrative cap at the moment that will change but it's going to take us a tiny, tiny bit more time. Mining stations, research stations, and then I want you to move over there. Get all of that done. Let's build up our alloys, build up our fleet. Let's see, what are you doing? You're so, so you're still overwhelming. Now your economy is equivalent. So in terms of economy, we're doing fine. But this war has been dragging on. I did not expect it to drag on that long. Uh, I'm thinking that the war was declared by the Hive. Making them the attackers. And the defenders are definitely on the losing end. But it's probably more attrition. Maybe it is the other way around. 
Mm. Maybe. You know, a good rating. Uh, you have no rivals. Would like to hire a leader. All possible. Do we need to set rivals? I think we might want to do that. But doing that right now... I don't mind rivaling these guys, actually. They are already at war with so many. Uh, they got a peace offer already. Okay, that uh, it's status quo. So they won't be gaining anything. Let's keep digging. Hmm. I kind of want to wait with declaration of arrival. But it will generate us influence. But it would set us at a imminent war. It will happen. Okay, our food production is zero. That is um, a bit alarming, in all honesty. So we want to be focusing at least one more district for food as soon as we need to. Could be on, 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 on this planet, of course. It could be on anyone. Come with deciding happiness is increased amenities. And there you go, the research. Let's uh, keep on digging. Curious. 277, 244, so we don't hit zero. Uh, we have uh, more than enough naval capacity just now. Um, let's go for the output. That will uh, increase some of our stations. There you go. With two points. Two amazing points. It's amazing, I love it. Okay, let's speed up the game to three. Just for now. There's no need to keep on the low end. We are boxed in. There, there's not much to explain. Just keep your head above um, above the water and you'll do fine. Energy from technicians. That will increase our energy production. Let's see. Combat rolls is going to be absolutely fantastic. On all of your ship. It will boost. It will create a, um, a device that will go into here. And um, it will have a bonus. So... Once that bonus is there, we can definitely talk about that some more. So let's start on that. We also want to be focusing a tad more into a research. Consumer goods. Keep digging. Thank you. That is discovered. Let's uh, remove that. There are some tiles which we can now um, unlock. Generate a district. Yeah, let's do it. We could use it. A rivalry between these guys have now ended. So the soul is is not doing well. They are not doing well. And because they're not doing well. Um, they have a defensive pick with these guys. So we could declare them rivals. And get a unity of influence out of that. Without actually having to worry too much about them. Because they will be killed. So let's declare you our rivals that will generate 0.5 in influence plus four which is really nice because we're going to be uh, making sure we uh, we're going to be claiming some of this territory especially vega because that's planet and of course there is one in sagas wow 25 tiles that is very very nice i just want to hit my uh, my naval cap uh, you guys are still superior. Don't want to deal with that. You're actually liking us. And yeah, that's going to be interesting then. You're not going to like us at the very end once we declare war on you. Uh, but I kind of... If there is a option, if it is possible, I would rather go to war with the, uh, the hive mind. Just for these two planets, but also just to get rid of them. This is a very nice system to stop any imminent dangers from this Imperium over there. Uh, we gain some research. Uh, we have some... The gene clinic is done. That's cool. Psionic theory. Wow. Normally this is uh, only for spiritualist empires. Monthly unity plus 5. It is rare. As you can see. Uh, it will unlock us uh, with a path that is very nice. But... I don't feel it is time to go towards this path already. Uh, plus 5 in unity is very nice, definitely. The Xeno, 
uh, zoo. I don't think we have it on any of our planets, so we probably can't work that at its full potential. Food. I don't like spending slots on uh, to, f to, to focus on food on all my stations. There, there's plenty other things that you want to be doing, even though it will generate a flat to food for you. And this is subsidies. Um, actually, no, it's uh, hydroponic farms. There's no subsidies in there. It is uh, a building which just generates 12 food at the cost of two jobs. We are, of course, going for the fleet command limit because uh, that will uh, get us uh, more of an edge. They have a job open. Let's build a generator district. It will create 12 at the cost of uh, two jobs as well. We'll use that building slot for something else. Uh, you are done. Let's get rid of you. Excavation site was finished. We already knew that. Uh, rivalry is being declared. Rivalry has been declared. Let us end this charade. I do agree. I do agree. It is a charade. Let's see. We got more than enough. That will boost that up quite nicely. Meaning, uh, how many do we have over here? Now We need an additional anchoring slot over there. Hmm... Nothing too interesting at the moment. So let's just wait until that happens. This will go up very nicely. We're almost there. We, we are very close at, at starting wars now. Um, these guys are now uh, superior. So they are about 2,000 stronger than me, I guess. So once we start building up defensive stations... Now remember defensive stations... They can be destroyed. And once that happens, you might be having a tiny, tiny bit of a problem. Let's build a city district. As you can see, enmity is no longer a problem. Uh, we're generating 12 food now. Let's go. We have more than enough alloys to start more ships. Just as long as we don't hit zero. There you go. Construction ship. Ooh, armor. Ooh, armor and missiles. Ooh, very nice. So, our armor, level 2. Or, missiles. Hmm. Both can be very nice. But, not all of your ships will have missiles, but all of your ships will have armor. So, it's going to be very easy to focus on armor. Let's do that. Uh, we definitely want to be increasing uh, our... Uh, our command, our naval capacity, as well as the command limit, once that's done. We also want to see if there is a better leader. Evasion speed. Okay, let's just get a few leaders in here. Until we hit something that I kind of would like to have. And by the looks of it, it's... Wow. Talk about unlucky. Okay, let's go with the evasion then, whatever. Uh, we don't need upkeep. No, I don't want you. Go away. There you go. 1.7. Evasion. On Corvette, it's not too bad. Because evasion is quite nice. Especially if these guys cannot be uh, targeted. But um, I'd rather have someone that will increase like firing speed and, and stuff like that. Peace offering. Uh, not for us. Unfortunately, let's remove... This uh, Admiral, because we don't need it. Let's remove you as well. You just leveled up. It will generate more food for us. The Governor. You have nothing here. Let's let's pause it for a second. So what do what can we do? Well, we are still lacking two. To create a building slot. And still... Minerals is going down. And we do want to create... More... Consumer goods. To do that, we will need uh, enough minerals. So let's go with the uh, mineral building. Mildred, uh, mineral district. Complete. City district is done soon enough. Uh, we're now over our naval capacity. Um, are you done building up that one building? Yes, you are. That means we're going to be building one over here. We're just going to do this one at a time. One at a time, all that we need. As soon as we can be uh, create another uh, star base, I'm actually considering making one. We have claimed a new world. Hmm. Construction complete. Over here, and this one could be 
our our trade trade value station so this is going to be a a dedicated shipyard or we'll flip it around this is going to be trade value and this is going to be shipyard we have all means to create all or, or actually to collect all of this trade value we're just not using it right now let's get you done let's get you done oh look at that these guys are not they are going to be taken over i guess oh they're now four they're equivalent they're starting to be actually quite friendly maybe maybe we need to flip it around. maybe this could be a very nice buffer for when we have to start warring these guys because they they will never like us they will they will hate us so i don't want to go and do a defensive pack a research agreement non-aggression pack would increase our the trust by 05 so over time that's going to be enough to get a research deal 47 is there something we can do there's actually uh, there's a few trade deals from them so they're starting to offer us uh minerals to get into our good side by the looks of it they do it twice that is quite nice let's increase that some more we have a non-aggression pack now with them is there something else we can do because of their trade deals Inbound message traffic. um defensive pack yeah you yeah no i'm going to be declining that i'm sorry for that because you tend to war a tiny bit and it, it doesn't do anything for you, okay? It, it will not tell you, oh, you, you didn't go with our defensive pack uh, and stuff like that. It, it, it won't happen. But I, it does wonder. It, it makes me wonder. They're now superior all over the board. So they're starting to grow tall. I kind of feel like rivaling them. Let's get rid of this one. I kind of feel like rivaling them. And then slowly take over, uh, at least until this station, Zitter. Uh, there I want to be building a station. Now, speaking of stations, it is time. I'm going to upgrade this station. Wow, you, you really don't like me. The healthcare campaign has ended, so that's uh, a bit of a bummer for the uh, population growth. Amenities, worker, let's upgrade you now. We lack consumer goods, making sure that we are going to be building that immediately. There is something we can unlock over here, I guess. Yeah, clearable tile blockers. Of course it does, because we need money for that. Actually, energy. Uh, let's just finish this trade. Getting rid of all of that. We're still uh, keeping our head above the water. And that will change right now while uh, we do these stations man we we almost we almost have the entirety of our territory we are almost having our naval up to a very nice uh, position 2k not too bad i think we should be able to deal with the hives we might be um, making these guys uh, a bit more friendly than i was planning on early on two friends it just puts us directly at war with the hive mind. They are at a negative thousand. They're 100. Yeah, it doesn't really matter, right? They have a truce. Wow, did you actually win or lose? Let's take a quick... Yeah, they, lo they lost some territory here. Eye of Hawking. Cool, cool name. Like that. So the consumer goods will go up. And we want to be focusing a tiny bit more of our efforts towards energy. Also, we're now starting to uh, generate a lot of influence. And what we'll do with that is for the next episode. As for now, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, leave me questions in the comment section so I can uh, uh, get towards them as soon as all of this is live. Thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.